A Uvalde police officer arrived at Robb Elementary School before the mass shooting with a rifle and had a chance to shoot the alleged gunman. Salvador Ramos, according to a report from the New York Times, the officer who was armed with an AR-15 rifle had a brief chance to shoot Ramos as he approached the school but declined to do so for fear that he would hit children playing around the building, a senior sheriff's deputy who spoke to the paper said. Eventually, the gunman would enter the school and open fire, killing 19 children and two adults before being killed by law enforcement. The latest revelation for the time shows yet another decision in the police response to shooting that could affect the events that day. Police have been criticized for their response to the Uvalde shooting after taking more than an hour to engage. The shooter, Uvalde officers, arrived at the scene of Robb Elementary quickly but waited outside the joining classrooms in which Ramos had locked himself with students who were still alive. Following the shooting, director of the Texas Department of Public Safety, Stephen McGraw, said that the officer in command on the scene believed that the situation had shifted from an active shooter situation to a barricade situation and children were no longer in danger. Okay, um, I'm really glad to be getting another news story about that shooting because it feels like it was years ago, even though it wasn't. Um, people just, that's just the nature of these shootings because we have them so often. In short periods of time, you'll just see them be completely unreferenced. Nobody talks about it anymore. It just goes, it's like it never even happened. Um, so I don't dispute the, the validity of the claim that he saw the gunman and, you know, before he went in there. What I do dispute this is reasoning. So it was established by several um, parents that were there that those officers sat outside while that gunman, you know, destroyed all those young lives. And what I think really happened is that while I, I believe that he saw him before he went in there, I think he was playing right along with the rest of those cowards. For some reason, Uvalde has a lot of officers who care more about being able to go home and enjoy their day or whatever than actually do their job and, you know, protect people and risk themselves to um, ensure that that happens. And I don't know why they wouldn't name the officer. Are they trying to protect them? Do they think, we're, you know, we're as insane as this shooter is and we're going to come and confront them? I, I do think that all of the officers that were on the scene who sat their goofy behinds outside where this guy shot up these children should get fired. That doesn't mean they can never work anywhere else, but they, they should not be policemen if they can allow something like that to happen. So I said, it's just, it, it seems the, like the more I hear about that shooting, and I just keep thinking about how they had officers there, but they sat their behinds down because they didn't care enough to get involved. This it's just becomes increasingly pathetic. And it's like, what is the point of having these security guards, pe you know, people that are there to supposedly protect and they do nothing. They're too cowardly to, actually do their job.